Hello everyone, welcome to iLearning Digital Class. My name is Steven and um, today we are going to continue on our project that is the Student Resort Management System. But before we do that, I want to use this medium to appreciate people that have already subscribed to my channel for the comment, for the like and the shares. And please, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe now so that you'll be able to enjoy a lot of projects and I'm going to be deploying and sending to my channel. So kindly um, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the um, notification um, button. That is the bell button so that anytime I'm going to be uploading a new video, you're going to be seeing the notification on your email. So, and um, if you've not yet seen my previous video on student results management system, kindly go and watch the video so that you'll be able to understand and follow along the tutorial. So in our last video, let me quickly show us what we did in our last video. Let me input a number here. Input a number here and click the enter. You see, this is what we did in our last video. As you can see, we did basic calculation in JavaScript and how you can effectively use an if and else statement in JavaScript. So as you can see now, we did this particular um, function in my last video. So please kind of go and watch if you've not yet seen the video. So today what we want to do is that we want to save our um, data into Firebase. We want to save the student data into the file into our firebase that is we want to get the student name save it to the database and together with the details here so now before we do that let's quickly move into our firebase now now as you can see this is my um, firebase now in the second part of this video i explained to us how you can create a project in firebase so what you just have to do is that just um, log into firebase.google.com that is the web address so once you do that your e log in with your email address did you get it now so once you do that now if you follow my second part of the video i'll explain to you how you can create projects so that particular project you created mine what well, that time was my arps that was the name of my own project so click on your own project then you're going to get to this particular place then we've done the authentication now we want to do the database now, by default, what you are going to find there is that you find the Cloud Firestore. Well, we are not making use of the Cloud Firestore now. We want to make use of the real-time database. That is what we want to make use of in this tutorial. So, now, let's move into um, text editor now. Now, this is my text editor. Now, what we are going to do is that the first we have to do is that we have to comment this out. This is the code SDK we copy from my firebase we have to remove the comments so that it's going to be active so the next thing we are going to do is that we have to go and grab the save button here let me show you the save button here we have to go and grab the save button down here that is once the save button is clicked here we want our data to be saved so this is the save button we want to grab here so the next thing we are going to do is that we have to come inside our index.html and locate the um, save button now let's do that now save button yes so we are going to go and grab this one this id inside our javascript file now let me copy this let me copy this here and move inside our js um file here so below here let's put the comments the save uh, let's say um the save button function so what we are going to do next is that so we're going to say variable save button save button is equals to document dot get element by id so what is the id we want to get the id we want to get is the um, save button you don't did you get that now so that's the id we want to get so the next thing we're going to do is that we have to add a function to this save button so we're gonna say save button dot add event listener so that is once this save button is clicked if the save button is click so once to perform this following functions here so once the save button is click we want you to perform the following function here so now let's console dot log here for us to be able to see if what we are doing is correct console dot log now let's say save button is working so what we do here is that we grab the save button and we add an event listener to it that is once it's click we want it to perform this following function so we console.log here for us to be able to check if um we, we correctly grab the button so let's go into our browser and reload this here for us to be able to see 
what we've just done now. So anytime you make a changes in your text editor, you have to reload here for the effect to take, um, for you to be able to see the effect of what you really changed in your um, text editor. So let me clear this out here now. So then we we'll come inside our create um, results here. So let me close this for us to see what is going to happen here now. So let me move down here and click on the save. You see, save button is working. Did you see now? Our save button is working. So now, once we've been able to, we are now sure that our save button is working. So the next thing we are going to do is that now we have to also um, grab the student name here because we want to save the student name. We want to save test one. We want to save test two. We want to save the exam. We want to save the total. All of these things inside our database. So we have to grab, get the value of the student name here. So how are we going to do that? So we have to go inside our index.html file also. Now let's locate the inputs input name. Yes, that's the ID for the student name there. So let me copy this as well. Let me copy this and move into the main result here. Now I'm going to clear these now. Since our console log is working, we don't need it again. So I'm going to, I'm going to say var student var student student name is equals to document document dot get elements by id so what is the id you want to get the id is input name don't forget you have to add dot value here dot value so that is that so the next thing we are going to do is that we have to come here and copy all of this because these are all the things we want to save inside our database let me copy this and we'll come inside the save um, button here we have to paste this here also you do get that now so um let's um test run this first did you get it down this is just test one test two test three the exam and the eng brought forward we still have other things we have to save in our database but let's check this out if we are going to be uh, if we are be, if we'll be able to save this in our database so the next thing we're going to do is that then we have to get say variable user is equals to firebase firebase dot alt dot alt dot current dot current user dot uid don't worry you are going to understand this in a second now i'm going to explain this in a second now we're going to say again constants let's say constants here constant database database is equals to fire base dot database then we we'll put this here so what we're trying to do is that we want to get a unique id that is in firebase if you if any user sign up each user have a unique id did you get that now so we want to immediately anybody sign up or log in into this particular um pro, um, um into this particular application now each of them get a unique id so we want to make sure that each each student name is saved with a unique id did you get that now that is each student name should have a unique id so that is what we are trying to grab here now so the next thing we are going to do is that we're going to say database that is database dot we're going to say database dot ref this is the ref we are now going to have say user slash plus then we're going to have another user here again then we'll put a plus here then we'll put another forward slash here then plus the word plus the student name don't worry you will understand this now what we are trying to do here students um students name yeah this is it student name so then the next thing we are going to say is that we are going to set all this inside our firebase we're going to set everything we want to save so everything we want to save will be inside this place every of those data that we want to save so what are things we want to save we want to save eag test one so we want to save eag test one you paste that here you put a comma here we want to save eng test two here also we want to save this inside this place let's paste this here so the next thing we want to save again is i want to save eng test three here also we put a comma here and let's save this and the next thing we want to save again is that i want to save the eng exam here so let's save this also here let's paste this and uh, let's paste this also here so let's put that here so then we want to make a promise here that is um if this 
if our database is saved successfully sorry there's an error here if our database is saved successfully are you getting it now then we want to see this following response then perform this following response let's say then function function then on let's console log for now let's say console does log save successfully so this is the response we want to see if everything works well you did get it now this is the response we want to see if everything works well just take note of this we have the user here that is the um, these are the trees you understand it now if we save in our database now let's go into our browser and let me reload here let me reload this here so and let's see if um, we are going to get the correct response there so let me clear this out. Let me clear this out now. Then move into our current results. Then let's let's put a student name here now. Let's say John Doe, the name of the student. Then we'll come down here. Let me close this. Let me close this and uh, move down here now. So let me input a number here. A number here. So let's click the enter now. So let's come down here and click the save. So let's click the save. Let's see if our data will be saved. Response save successfully. Do you see that now? We get a response here save successfully. So let's go into our um, database and check out if truly something that you see now. The student name initially this place was empty, but as you can see now, we have a dead some data here. And what are the data is here? This we have the user here. And where do we get this user from? This is where we get the user from here. This is the user here. You do see that now. This is the user. And this user here is the unique ID we are getting here. This unique ID here that we are getting here. And this is the name of the student. The student name here. This is it. You don't forget. We save it as John Doe inside this place. Let me show you here. This is the student name John Doe. And we are getting it here. So as you can see, these are the data of what we input for English exam, English test 1, English test 3, English. Do you get it now? So we are able to get the data we are able to save the data into our fire uh, into our firebase so now the next we're going to do is that we want to make sure that we save all of this now we've been able to save test one we've been able to save test two we've been able to save the assignments we've been able to save exam are you getting it now so we want to get the top two we want to get the community profile and all those things we want to make sure that we save them into our database and now we're going to achieve that is that now let's come here we want to get the remark first here we want to make sure we save the remark let's copy this and come inside this place we're gonna paste um we're gonna say var eng remark eng remark then we're gonna put this close to that let's paste this here Did you see that now then we'll grab this also here because we want to save this inside our database let's put comma here and paste this here also so which other thing we have to save again we have to save the grade too let's come here copy it copy this and come down here also let's paste this to this place and let's give it a variable um let's give it e e n g grade e n g grade is equals to so let's copy this once again here and put a comma here and put this here so we have one two three four five six seven i think it's remain two that we have to get now we have to get the um total now okay yeah, we have to get the cumulative this here let's get this cumulative here also so let's come here let's come here and also paste this here so let's give it a variable also let's store it in a variable then we have a variable ignish cumulative is equals to so let's copy this once again let's copy this and move down here because we want to also save it inside our database let's paste this there and the last one is um ignish total let me check the variable will give the ignish total here so let me check the id rather that will give ignish total okay ignish total let me copy it and let's come inside this place let's say variable eng total eng total is equals to document dot get elements dot get element by id then we're gonna put this here paste it here so then also we have to put copy this one and set it inside 
um, save it inside our database. So we'll paste this in. Hope you understand what I just did now. So I make sure that I get all those values of what I want to save in my database. So that's what I just did here now. I get all of those values here. Everything. I get them here and I save them inside my database. Do you understand that now? I say the same. So let's cross check if it's in this saved in our database. Now let's go into our browser again and let's reload this. Let's reload this and check it out this time. So it's loading now. So let me clear this out for us to be able to get the response here. So let's go into create results. So let me close this. Let me close this. Then let me come down here. Then we have text here five, five, five. Let me click enter. So let's go and save now. Let's go and save. Let's click on the save button here. So it's, as you can see, it says we get a response that saved successfully. You didn't get it now. We get it. So let's go and check it out inside our database here and see. And see if it's indeed. You see now, as you can see, all of those data is saved. Oh, we didn't put the name there. There's an error. Sorry. Let's let's include the name. Let's include a name here. We didn't put a name here. Let's say let's put the name John Doe here. John Doe and let's save again this time. Let me save again. So let's go back and cross check here. It's going to update automatically as you can see. So this is the name we put the other time, and this is a unique ID we are got and we are signed for this. This is a unique ID that Firebase. Anytime you sign up a Firebase, you're gonna get a unique ID. So this is the unique ID we are gotten here. So let me click on John Doe here. You're going to see that all the things we say for John Doe is A. Did you see? We have the Ignish, we have okay, it's remain we are, we are not getting the remark yet. We didn't get the remark yet. Let's see, let me check what is happening. We are not getting the remark and all all other things there. So let's go back into a test editor. Okay, maybe we didn't put dot value here. Let's put dot value because we want to get a value. That's why we are not getting it here. Let's put the dot value here and let's put dot value here also dot value so let me save this time and let's come here to and put dot value here also because we are getting a value that's why we didn't get that because we are getting a value and let me come here let me delete this um this one here you can just come here if you want to delete let me delete it so that anytime we save we are going to get um the correct data that will save so i've deleted that so let's go back here and let's reload once again and see the changes so so now um let me clear this out let me clear this error out here let's go into our create results so Let me move up here and let me um, move up here. Then let me close this. So let's give it a student name once again. The student name, let's give it John Doe again. So and here, let's put five, 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 just for us to be able to cross check it. So let's come down here and save once again. Let me save once again. So we get the response save successfully. Did you see that now? So let's go and check that in our database. As you can see, let's see if um, we save. As you can see now, all our data is saved for John Doe. Did you see that now? All our data is saved for John Doe. So we have the English broad word is egg zero. We have the English cumulative zero. We have all our data here is saved for this particular student. And this particular student is having a unique IDA. Do you see that now? So this particular student is having a unique IDA. So I think we've been able to um, um, we've been able to save successfully to our database. So let me really explain once again what I've just done here. Now what I did was that I grabbed the save button. That is the save button here. The, this is the ID, and I, I I gave it a variable save button. So I I assign an event listener. That is once this button is clicked, 
let it perform these following functions here. Did you understand that now? So I come here, I save the unique ID for user here. And I come I also come here, I save this Firebase the database, I save it inside this particular database here. Did you get it now? And that's the database does ref. That is, this is the tree here. Did you get it now? The user, then the ID here, that is then the student name. Then I save all this English test one. English test 2, English test 3 into our database. So in a, in a next video, I'm going to explain to us on how we can retrieve your data and display it um, from Firebase. Do you understand that now? So that's what I'm going to be doing in my next video. So um, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please kindly don't forget to subscribe. And if you are having any question concerning this particular project, don't worry, feel free to um, drop your question in the comments below and don't forget to like to share this particular video so thanks for watching see you in my next um, video